October 3rd, 2005, just before the crack of dawn, our then small staff gathered on the steps of our 11,000 square foot office and studio building on Business Park Drive here in Temecula to be welcomed by local city and business officials for a history-making moment the first live local television station originating from the Temecula Valley. The guiding light and visionary behind this, KZSW's Kevin Page, Chief Executive Officer and now the station's News Director. The first thing we did with our, our station was provide Christian programming to the community there in Hemet. It was um, all 24 hours a day, seven days a week, um, spiritual programming. And then uh, in 2004, we started looking really carefully at the idea of doing something in as far as local news because it was just so obvious that this whole region is completely unserved in as far as local television news is concerned. Actually, the plan to bring local television to this area of southwest Riverside County began in the middle of the summer before last, the result of a series of strategy and planning sessions between Page and longtime local broadcast executive John Roberts. One of the things I used to hear every day was, how come we don't have any local news? As you know, at Clear Channel, we had no access to the airwaves. So I remember one person calling me and saying, during the fires, you know, I'm listening to your radio station. I look out my back window. There's flames coming up the back canyon, and you're playing Stairway to Heaven. Where's the service in that? So um, we knew all along that there was need here for local news, for local communications of all levels, whether it's news information or even advertising. Today, KZSW continues its quest to be live and local with news, sports, and community affairs programming, drawing on the creative talents of a number of broadcast professionals, like evening news anchors Maya Travolsi and Jennifer Jensen, general assignment reporters Milrose Bosco, Bill Lauren, Andy Crossland, and Kitty Alvarado, local sports experts like Nikki Castle and Matt Sully, weather anchor Melissa Vreeman, Assignment Editor John Maroney, Votal Journalist Paul Sirbu, Pierre Evans, and Bo Ryan, Program Director J.P. Ranieri, Production Manager Ryan Eldred, Commercial Production Manager Fred Kaplan, Production Assistants Jimmy Salazar, Aaron Marine, Blake Griffin, Brittany Serrano, Directors Wyatt Roos and Jack Kay, Keeping us on the air is head engineer Mick Streeby and Ryan I.T. Murray. Keeping us wired to the community, marketing director Diana Vidal. Keeping it all together business-wise, Angela Russo and Denise Cota. And the important part of this station, our sales staff, Dennis Johnson, Carolyn Chandler, Sid Pina. Then there's the station image voice and the reporter tracking the story, yours truly, Bill Lauren. Well, what's ahead for KCSW in the coming year? We want to see our distribution continue to grow in this coming year. We want to see KZSW broaden its its uh, reach into the community. You know, higher and you know, an ever increasing number of people who can see our product and and choose to do so on a on a daily basis. Our our vision is to carve out a local market within the large market and make that a home for television here in, in Temecula Valley and uh, surrounding areas. Continue to develop our reach. Our reach meaning the number of people that can actually access our signal. Thanks for being with us for this first year and stay with us and watch us grow. With photojournalist Bo Ryan, this is Bill Lauren, News 27.